so this bottle is going to represent the vent of my volcano. And the volcano is going to be cone-shaped because it's going to be a stratovolcano. And a stratovolcano has the shape of a cone. Okay, so first I'm going to draw a circle around the, the mouth of the bottle of the bottle on this craft paper to make the volcano. And then I am going to draw a line and cut on that line. And then I'm going to wrap the craft paper around the bottle. Let's do it. So I'm going to put the bottle like this upside down. Then I'm going to try my best to draw a circle. Now I'm going to use my ruler to draw the line and cut. Okay, good. Now I'm going to start cutting. circle out it's that it appeared to be two circles because because there there was one piece because this was folded okay so now I'm going to put the bottle here the mouth of the bottle inside the hole and now I'm going to wrap it around guys now I have the volcano here now I'm going to staple it with a stapler now I'm not good at using staplers but I'll try oh I did it there it is to cut the excess of paper so that we are left with a cone. Here it is more or less and so now since I want my model to be waterproof we are going to we are going to spread some plaster of Paris mixed with tissue paper on the volcano to see if it works. Okay guys, as you can see, now we've made our first layer of paper, tissue, and plaster of Paris. Now we're going to make our second. Now 
I made my second layer and I ended up doing it with my hands because it was easier. Now we have to let it dry and then we are going to decorate the volcano. How? With paint. Okay guys, now that the plaster is dry, I am going to add color to the volcano. Now we have painted the volcano, and now we are ready for the eruption. Don't miss the upcoming video of the eruption. Bye!